Hi everyone, David Mailer here, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly download a data set. You can get them from anywhere on the internet. There's all kinds of places, but I'm going to show you how to download a data set, put it into Click or Click Sense, and then I'm going to show you how to do year over year graphing very quickly and simply without any really arduous formulas. Okay, so let's get started here. So first, as you see right here on the uh, screen, I'm at the University of California at Irving's uh, Machine Learning Repository where they have a lot of free data sets for people to use and play around with for data science and different applications. So right here you can see I've opened this up to the bike sharing data set data set. And right underneath it you can see the download the data folder and data set description. So let's go get the data folder. Right here you can see the zip file which has bike sharing. That's what we're going to be using, bike rentals, bike sharing. So we click on this, we get this right here where we're going to get the zip file, and we want to open it. And what we want to do is get this day file. So there's day and there's hours. We don't necessarily need hours. Uh, you can use that if you want, but we definitely want day. So what you do is double click on this, it'll open it up in Excel. And then once it's open in Excel, we can do is we can save it save as and we're going to put this onto our desktop and we're going to put this under I have a folder called click which should be right there and we're going to save that on there yes and then I'm also going to save just so you can see it and you can see all the columns here and stuff uh, let's close out of this don't save and we're going to take the hour one and do the same thing with it. Okay. So here's the hour. Close that. And what we'll do is same thing. Save as hour.csv. And we want it in the same click folder. So we have to go here. Go back to click. I put this folder here. Hour CSV. And we'll hit save. So we got them both there. Uh, yes. Close this. Don't save. Okay. So we've got that. Now we've got both uh, files, both CSV files, they're common delimited files. So let's close this and we'll bring up ClickSense. And here is ClickSense. So if you had just started ClickSense, just opened up, it's free for you to use. You can download this from Click, uh, go to their website and you can download it. It's one of the top business application or intelligence tools out there. Um, what you can do is we're going to create a new app. Okay, we're going to call this, let's say, Bike Rentals okay and we hit create and then we hit open the app okay give it a second here it'll open it up and then it's got this screen we're going to import your data so we're going to add the data right here we click on this now you can add data from a myriad of different places salesforce odbc rest ibm db2 whatever you want here but you can also import a flat file which is what we're doing right now a csv file and let's go here to our computer oops let's go back here let's go to users let's go to me oops back to me let's see let's go to desktop and let's go from desktop to click which is right there okay we got our hour csv apparently i clicked too fast we got the hour csv but let's go back we have day and we have hour. So let's get day. We'll start with day, add the data. And it showed you all the fields that were in there. It shows me uh, them all again down here. And let's add in hour. So let's go back to my computer. See hour right here in the same folder. It's already got that folder. And what we'll do is hit add data. So we just hit that. And they're both in here. Now, if I want to attach these two, all I got to do is take one of them, and you can see that it's attachable by seeing that orange click on there or the orange uh, pattern around it. So I could do this like that, and boom. Now I've got the two stuck together. Uh, I can also break that association if I want to. Okay. So we'll leave it like this. And what we're going to do is go to load the data. And by the way, it'll show you down here exactly how it's bound together. If you want more details on there, you can look at associations and tables up here. So let's go to load the table, or load the data, I'm sorry. 
And now the sheet's been created, let's edit the sheet. Okay, so now we're here. This is like a dashboard primer here, but these are active dashboards, which are really cool that you can create here. And I'm going to show you how to make a graph with the year over year data, which is really neat because it allows you to see one year compared to another or many years compared to each other. So in this case, in this data, there's two years, 2011 and 2012. So what we're going to do is go to the line graph, line chart, which is right here. I'm going to pop that in there. And if you see by, by standard, because I don't have any other graphs out there. You just have this one big graph right now. And you have a dimension and a measure. So let's add a dimension. We're going to click this. And the first dimension we want is going to be month. Because I want to see the 12 months of the year. So let's go down here. I want month. Okay, you see months there. But to do year over year, I need two dimensions and one measure. Right here, you can see I have one dimension and I'll have one measure. So to add the second dimension underneath this month, I'm going to hit add right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add year. So see year right here? Now that's the wrong year. I actually want the calendar year. Let's go back to this. Actually, no, that's correct. That is that is correct. That's day-to-day -day year. That's what we want. So let's go down then to measures. Just have to be careful when you're adding these fields in. Sometimes it gets confusing because you could have four different year fields. And there are several different year fields. That's actually the correct year field that I want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. Hit FX. Or we can do it from the Add Measure button. It doesn't matter. And this has all your tables. So I can actually see day and hour. I can actually say I don't want the hour ones right now. I just want day. So that limits this now to a much shorter uh, limit or uh, choice of selections of fields if I have hour then I can only see the hour fields right now I really just want the ones from the day table so now we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we want the measure for this and the measure for this is going to be users so or new customers and um, so when you go in here, you can actually see count, which is what we're going to use. But you could also use there's casual and there's uh, registered. Casual means, new, in this case, for this data set, means new customers and registered means old customers. So if you put casual, so I could actually do this. Let me just show you how you could do this if you wanted to. You could hit sum of casual, right? That gives you that. And you could hit plus and you could hit registered, which is right here. And you could sum that and hit that. That actually gives the exact same thing. And I could hit apply here and I'd be correct. That gives me all of the rentals summed for both new and used. But instead, to make it simpler, we already have count right here. So let's just take count. Well, first, let's actually get rid of these because I don't want those in there. Now let's take count and we can sum it and let's insert that. Now I'm going to show you something in a second here. So let's hit apply. And it tells you if it's okay. Now look what we got here. Because I put month and year in this order, month, the first one, the first dimension goes to the bottom. The second dimension goes here on the side. So this is the way we want this structure. So we have by month, by year, and then we have the sum here. But do we really want the sum? In this case, I actually, so I'll click here. I actually don't want the sum. I actually want the daily average, which is more useful to me right now. Okay, so this actually gives me the daily average plotted year over year. Now, to make this a little bit prettier, what we're going to do is go back up here, and we don't want to have the full label to be the full name of the, uh, the field or its location, so we can get rid of this and have month. And then we can go down here, and we can do this one. We don't touch the field. Be careful. Don't touch the field. If you touch the field, your data will get skewed or uh, erroneous or come up with an error. So this is where you want to change it on the label. Okay, so I delete that. I've got year. And then what I can do to make it nicer, because I don't want month and year down here. So what I want to do is I want to have, well, you can't really do that. So you still have month, comma, year, because you have both. Um, what I want to change is this one over here. So let's go down to measures, way down here. Okay, so let's take this. And I'm not going to change the uh, expression, but I am going to change the label. So we can call it users, or we can call it rentals. Now, users would be correct, but the problem is, what if a user rented a, a bike, 
dropped it off, and then decided three hours later to rent another bike. So the term users would be incorrect. It would be rentals would be more correct, just in case somebody does rent it twice in a day. We don't have that in this data set, as I've already looked at it before, but let's just use rentals. And you see right there, it puts rentals, month over year, year, and then we can put a title in here. Let's say this is rentals, or you could say average rentals. How about the average rentals year over year? Boom. And then you've got, so you've got it. It shows exactly what uh, last year did, which is blue. This year is red. Get rid of that. It says my computer's slow. That's fine. Um, but you can s clearly see here a growth between the years. And then you can go and actually say, if I'm done, or I can actually go and change the appearance of it. If I want to uh, put access points on there, I want to change the colors. I can do that right through here. But let's say I was done for now, right? I click this. I can actually go click here. See this little lasso thing here? I could actually say, oh, I want to zone in on why this dropped right here or why this went up. Maybe I want to see that. So I could actually take this and I can lasso this area. Let's say I want to lasso that. Boom. It would then reflect that on the other graphs. And I don't have any other graphs on there for it to reflect reflect that against and then you can also remove it by clicking on that but it would actually with click sense it'll actually carry it over into other graphs if I had other graphs on there and show them all being the same way so we can go back to edit and here we are again we could actually go and make this smaller which is nice and I could actually add in more graphs or more key performance indicators or whatever I want in here so there you have it. We downloaded a data set off the internet. In this case, it was Bike Rentals. It was a fairly small uh, data set. You can have some that are enormous. Uh, could be the economics or of a country. It could be anything. You can pick all kinds of data sets out there that are free for you to use. And you can d delve into it and figure out all kinds of interesting stuff. You can also use your company's data sets and do the same thing with it. Um, so... We showed you how to do that. We showed you how to import the data, how to link it correctly. So I linked the days file and the hours file in ClickSense. And then I went and went straight to a new sheet and we created this new graph on here of year over year. Now I could go and name this sheet something. I could say uh, bike rentals dashboard or something like that. So we could do that if we wanted to here. Rentals dashboard. We could do that. You can put a thumbnail here. You can take a picture of whatever you want. I could take a picture of some people on some bikes or something and put that here. And then what you do is you hit save. So when I hit save here, this button right here, if I click this, okay, it's now going to be out there on my hub. So once I've hit saved, if I click hub, see there it is. Now it doesn't have an image on it like this one does because I didn't put the image in there yet. If I put a bike image on there like I just showed you in the last one, it would show it here. Regardless, uh, so I quickly showed you how to download a data set, install the data set, link the tables in the data, um, and do a graph with year over year. And what's neat about this is it didn't involve all the arduous formulas that normally you would have to use in most business intelligence tools. It's very simple. Pick two dimensions, month and year, and then I picked a third, well, not a third dimension, but a uh, measure, which in this case was the total count of users, the average count, average daily count. And it showed us some really interesting data, and I can actually see, you know, who's renting or how the rentals are going. And you can see a pattern that obviously the rentals are much lower in December and January, and obviously much higher in July and August. Well, thank you for, for watching this video. I hope it was very helpful to you. Please take a moment to subscribe down below. Please like this, and uh, please take the time to give me some comments. I love to hear from my uh, viewers and subscribers. And I'll respond back to you as quick as I can. And uh, thanks again and have a great day.